Hello everybody, my name's Al Sonic, and welcome to another reaction season of the video. In this reaction season of the video, I'm gonna look to check out Killing Floor 2's Halloween seasonal event called Get the Killing Floor 2 Fall Update Infernal Insurrection. Infernal Insurrection, Killing Floor 2's Halloween seasonal event. So Let's check out in summary as an overview of everything that's new for this event in Killing Floor 2 here by reacting to this video here. Hence, I said it's a reaction video, a reaction seasonal event video, where I go in summary as an overview of everything that's new for the event, and then later I go in depth of checking in further detail. I go in game and check this all out with unlocking all the news. Seasonal achievements and stuff like I do every year in Killing Floor 2. So, alright, let's see this dude here and react to it. Then we'll scroll down here and look further into, you know, you saw that. But, alright, let's click on this and let's begin. Check out Killing Floor 2's Infernal Insurrection update. There. Well, it's their Halloween event, so let's check it out here. I react in this video. Alright, well, let's begin, alright. Here we go. Let's do this. Alright. Oh, there it is. Ah, what's that thing called? Here we go. Let's do this. Here we go. Yep, that's the rating on the game. Let's begin. This is it. Let's go. All right. Ooh. Oh, did you see that? Hold on. Let me, let me wind that. I don't think get a good look at that. Oh, snap. Look at that. What? Whoa! Dang! Ah! That's a chain gun! Oh, awesome! Ah! Infernal Insurrection! Ah! Look at the roaring! Oh, snap! Ah! Whoa! There's a chain gun in the game now! Machine gun! Minigun! That is awesome! Aha! I love that! New weapon. Yep, it's our first gun. Dang, a gingerbread man. Ooh, nailed him. Look at that. Ooh, what? Arc, arc reactor. That's like, what the heck? Just the name of that reminds me of something else. I'll get to that later in a bit. Dude. Ooh, mine reconstructor. What? Oh, ho, 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 look at that. That's awesome. Oh snap, new outfit bundle, Reaper, ooh! That, oh man, look at that Halloween festive matriarchs there. Ah, I love that mini gun, that's awesome. Oh snap, ah! Ah, look at him go! Ah, I'm thoroughly insurrection. Healing floor two, and for all insurrection. Oh, what's this? Did you see that? What was that? I couldn't tell what that was. Hold on, let, let me rewind that for a sec. What is that? Yeah, what is that? Look at this close to the very end here. You see this? What is that? What am I seeing there close to the very end? That was awesome. I like that trailer. Wow! <laughs> Look at this dude, there's a freaking minigun. <laughs> there's a minigun in the game. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, now that we saw that video, we saw everything in, that was everything in summary as an overview of everything that's new for the Halloween event for Killing Floor 2's Halloween event called Infernal Insurrection. Now let's read up in further detail on the page we saw here. As you see here, let's go to, let me get a closer look for you guys. All right, here we go. Now we got a closer look on that new thing. Hold on, let me move my... Let me move me south here, let cam. Ah, there we go. That's better. All right, hey, now they got a further look here. Now, it's not smaller like it was in the reaction scene. Kill Core 2 followed the internal red struggle. I can't tell you enough how much I like that trailer. That was awesome. I can't believe there's a minigun in the game now. That's one of the new weapons. Now, how many weapons did we see there? It looked like we saw four or five new weapons and one new map. <laughs> Did they say the name of the map? I don't think I even saw the name of the map either. Nah, did I miss in the trailer? Look, let's scroll down and see here. Like, 
to hear the event as of Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. That's when this event started. This event started September tw on September 29th, 2020, Tuesday. Yeah. Started before the month of October. I'm pretty sure this event ends after October is over. Probably in the beginning of November is when this event is over. So let's scroll down here. Event. Infernal Insurrection. It's an in game event. You know, Halloween. Halloween seasonal event. <laughs> I love checking out seasonal events. Check out all the new cosmetics, the new in-game events, uh, like the new in-game like game modes, and limited time stuff. It's fun checking that stuff out every year. So it's in here and event infernal insurrection. Like I'm lost for words after seeing that trailer. Well, let's read up here. So terror in the streets of London. Terror in the streets of London. An invasion has commenced. In the bowels of King's Cross Station. Hope I said that right. So, terror in the streets of London. An invasion has commenced in the bowel, bowels or, or bowels of King's Cross Station. An infernal insurrection emerges from the underground. And lots of horrific creatures are starting to spread. Break into Hellmark Station, the very origin of the chaos. I thought I saw a gingerbread man in there, but no, that's for Christmas. Excuse me. I couldn't help but thought one of the gore fests looked like a gingerbread man. That's for Christmas. Christmas seasonal event in Clue War 2. <laughs> yeah. We'll break into the Hellmark Station, the very origin of the chaos. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't miss anything here. Yeah, creatures are start starting to spread right into the Hellmark Station, the very origin of the chaos, and face whatever force you encounter there. Is that Halloween Fest of Matrix? It's like a jack o' lantern. That was awesome in the trailer. Face whatever forces you encounter there. Perhaps you may find a way to use their power against them. But we have some good news. We offer you some new tools for facing these horrific creatures. The HRG Scorcher, that was awesome. It's like a little flare gun for the firebug, I believe, the HRG Scorcher. It's kind of like a demolition weapon, an alternative demolition weapon for the firebug. It shoots like a flare gun. <laughs> that's, what, that's, what, that's what it looked like, the HRG Scorcher. And the HRG Arc Generator. Now, now I mentioned earlier, when I heard, when I saw the name Arc Generator, kind of reminded me of the Arc Reactor. <laughs> you know, if you know in Marvel Comics, Iron Man has like something called an Arc Reactor on his chest. Yeah, Iron Man has something on his chest right here called the Arc Reactor, right? <laughs> That's what he called it, the Arc Reactor, his Arc Reactor. And this thing's called the Arc Generator. The name that that's why i thought wait what arc generator <laughs> the name itself sounded like arc reactor that iron man had in marvel comics like the mcu marvel something you know, it was the Duvani. that's that's what came to mind when i read that in the trailer <laughs> funny so hrg hrg scorcher and the hrg arc generator burn electrocute or just slay the enemies as you prefer but be sure you clear oh be sure oh, excuse me but be sure you clean the station out of demons demons Ooh, demons ah clear this clear the station out of demons new additional and highlights look at that one new map oh so what we saw there in trailer one new map, a few new weapons, new cosmetic skins, the Reefer, I might get that. As there was a Reefer skin in the first Killing Floor, Killing Floor game, I might get this one too. Because I like the, well, it was a Grim Reefer, but yeah. So it's called One New Map. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, look at this new map here. It looks pretty cool. One new map called... Hellmark Station, that's what it's called here. 
Compatible with survival, weekly, and ooh, compatible with survival, weekly, and endless game modes. Endless game game modes. Endless game modes. Game game modes. Oh, I feel like every time I say game game modes, people yeah, people oh, and never mind. Yeah, I understand what I'm saying. Every time I say game modes, some people... I didn't say game modes. I said game modes with an M. G-A-M-E. Ugh, whatever. That's what it sounds like every time I say game modes to me. Every time I say it, like, ugh. Man, I don't know. I mean, when I try to enunciate what I say, it's, every time I read game modes. So, for survival, weekly, and endless, endless modes, yeah, Game modes, whatever you 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 see it right here. I'm reading it. <laughs> the game of oh, the gates of hell open. The age of hell open into King's Cross Station in London. Use this. Uh, the, I'm reading it right here. Yeah, in London, use the Ophelis uh, power to slay all the enemies. Coming out of the infernal portals. Infernal portals, you say? Yeah, I saw some portals in the trailer. Hopefully, you can understand what I said when I ran like that. The, the gates of hell open into King's Cross Station in London. Use the. Use the Obelisk. I don't know how you pronounce that word. Obelisk power to slay all the enemies coming out of the infernal portals. <laughs> Four new weapons. So we got one new map called Infernal Station. Oh no, excuse me, Hellmark Station. And we got four new weapons. That's what we saw there. I lost count as I saw the video. <laughs> yeah, so, oh, we got four new weapons. HRG Scorcher for Firebug. Yep, I knew this was far for Firebug. Look at that. It's like, that was originally for the demo demolition part, but now it's also for the Firebug. As an alternative, like a like a flare gun. Yeah. I mean does that not look like a flare gun to you? Just look at it. That's the scorcher, HRG weapon. That's a picture right there of it. <laughs> Down here. An alter alteration of the H what's that? HX twenty five grenade pistol that shoots sticky flares with the primary fire that burns a target. And lights everything around it. <laughs> Old fire launches a broken flare that drops flames onto the ground in a straight line. Desig designate wait, design excuse me. Let's just read it. Designed as a secondary weapon that can burn single targets efficiently the trader price is one thousand dosh i hope you guys understand what i'm saying as i'm talking like that i don't know sometimes i'm not enunciating well what i'm talking hrg arc generator for the survivalist here it is here's a dude i like that weapon it shoots out some big like just spear of energy this spear of energy just comes Hurling towards the enemies as it just, just like shoot it. Ah, that's what we saw there. The the name the name Arc Generator reminds me of Arc Reactor for Iron Man. Is <laughs> a thing on his chest. That's what it reminds me of. How funny is that? I don't know. That's eh, silly. For the survivalists, this is for the survivalists. And I can't wait to check out these weapons. So yeah, and I was just talking like that. Try to do like move a demon. Like, like what the freak? Excuse me. Yeah, arc generator here. Oh, that's for a survivalist. I can't wait to check that out that woman out. So this one costs one thousand dollars. Can you believe that? That's a bit pricey pricey for a weapon. And this one here. Uh excuse me, microphone. Alright. This weapon here. HRG Arc Generator for the Survivalist. An alteration 
of the microwave gun that releases a beam of electricity that arcs to nearby enemies. Alt fire launches an electricity orb in a straight direction that zaps gents within proximity of the orb and bursts on contact. I was, I was talking like this earlier when I was like reading all of this. <laughs> Putting the station out of demons. Wait, wait, why would I like, talk like that? It, well, if they're clearing out the station of demons, I probably wouldn't talk like that, but whatever. <laughs> After I read this little story here about infernal insurrection. Insurrection? The name alone just sounds kind of weird. Ugh. What the heck? It's kind of a weird name. Insurrection? Like, what the heck, man? Too weird. Alright, let's move on here. So, ooh, an arc to nearby enemies, it said. I like to check my electricity. Bolt fire launches an electric electricity orb in a straight direction. That zaps set within proximity of the orb and burst, bursts on contact. Seriously, I like these new weapons. Even if they're just alt alterations of already existing weapons still cool though they just have different effects you know like one's demolition one's firebug like a like a flare gun almost you know that's uh, that's what i like about it it serves as a massive crowd controller for the survivalists with the capacity to easily inflict the emp f affliction or most on multiple enemies. <laughs> ah, trader price is fifteen hundred dosh. you are my children. Rah, rah, get close and get your fingers stuck in it. Rah, rah, get your fingers stuck on the trader pod. <laughs> what the 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 patriarchs? Does he sound like that? Oh, I forgot how the Patriot sounds. It's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> Not kidding. The last time I played this game was during the summer event. Perilous Plunder, uh, pirate outfits and everything. Perilous Plunder summer event for Code War Two. That was awesome. So that's the fighter trader price is fifteen hundred dollars. Me god for very god for the commando. Healing floor two. Oh, here, there we go. That's that's what player. Healing floor two. Mini gun. Get close to the trader pod. Let's see if I get your finger stuck in it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, is that is that how the patriarch sounds? Not the matriarchs. The patriarchs. I'm back and I got some new tricks. Oh, like what the freak? Ah. <laughs> All right, move on. Oh, dude, this is awesome. There's a freaking minigun in here. Ah! A minigun. That's the first thing I flipped out when I saw that. Dude, that's awesome. You go guns and blazing with a minigun. Yeah, I'm heavy weapons guy. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> minigun for the commando. Healing floor two. Minigun, you know, heavy weapons guy from Team Fortress 2 had a minigun. If you can play as the heavy, like, in the first Killing Floor game, you would play as the pyro. The pyro from Team Fortress 2 was added to Killing Floor 2. How meta is that? Huh. Him in there with the fl flamethrower, that's so meta, you know. But they had, like, a Killing Floor 2 mask from Killing Floor. Not Killing Floor 2, they had a Killing Floor, they had a, like, a gas mask from Mr. Foster as a cosmetic, like, hat for the Pyro in Team Floor 2. And they put the Pyro on Team Floor 2 in Killing Floor, so it was a crossover between Killing it's a It's a Killing Floor 2, no, not Killing Floor 2, just Killing Floor, first Killing Floor. It was basically a Killing Floor and Team Fortress 2 crossover. You can solve the pyro, you can play as a pyro in the first Killing Floor game. Yeah, I keep saying two, but it's just Killing Floor. 
plays Pyro in the first Killing Floor game, and you can also, like, get, like, Mr. Foster's, like, Pyro mask, gas mask, or whatever, to wear as, well, just Pyro wear, the well, Pyro wears that in Killing Floor 2. Not Killing Floor 2, Team Forge 2. Kind of couldn't talk, but it's pretty neat, though. That was a crossover. Now, you have his minigun in here. Now, Holy can play as the heavy from Team Forge 2 in here. <laughs> Shooting that minigun. Like the heavy and two words too. That's what this looks like. I mean, what? what? This is for the commando though. I mean, just look at the way that arc generator looked like. I almost said arc reactor. The minigun here. Dude. Oh! Look at the way this gun looks. Looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? This freaking minigun. Like, dude, look at this minigun. That's awesome. I cannot wait to get my hands on that when I go in game and play this. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna try and unlock all the seasonal achievements like I always do when I play Killing Floor 2 during the seasonal events. I try to unlock all the seasonal achievements as I play all these new weapons in the game. I do that every year in Killing Floor, Killing Floor 2, but didn't really do it for first Killing Floor, but doing it here for Killing Floor 2, of course. Yeah, look at that minigun. I can't wait to check out the minigun, get my hands on it. Oh, the arc generator is so awesome. Like, Oh, all right, let's read up more here. Minigun for the commando. This is a paid DLC weapon. The weapon can be shared among players through our weapon sharing system. It is a heavy machine gun with, yep, it's a machine gun. <laughs> machine gun, minigun, machine gun with a high rate of the of a high rate of fire and sustained damage. <laughs> Aiming wall. That stuff feels weird when I'm talking like this. Like, gets a figure stuck in the pod. <laughs> Shot and fire some more. Like Stenzel Lord Joss. <laughs> Shot and fire some more weapons. Like, to fire some more armor. Uh, not like I can't even be dead anyway. Uh, the thinking patriarchs. Uh, I can look forward to. <laughs> it's funny. Our wood, our weapon, shadow system. <laughs> it's a heavy machine gun with a high rate of fire and sustained damage. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like I'm even sounding like them, but at least I'm trying. That's my impression of the patriarchs. <laughs> Aiming wood. And advance the barrels to prepare the weapon for fire. Oh, aiming lines the barrels to prepare the weapon for fire. Trader price is two thousand dollars. Mine, mine reconstructor for the field medic. Look for two. Mine reconstructor. You burned my children! <laughs> like, what the ring? Ah, he does that, like, since the first Killing Floor game. Now in Killing Floor 2, yeah. I got some new tracks on back, I got new tracks. Like, what the freak, shoots a missile rocket? Ridiculous. Now there's a Matriarch, which is just as bad or ridiculous. Or worse, I guess. Go to Mine Reconstructor. This thing is like that that cannonball thing from the like perilous plunder event. Dude, doesn't this look like an already existing weapon that came out during the summer summer seasonal event for Killing Floor 2? It looks like that weapon that shoots cannonballs for the demolition. <laughs> That's literally what this thing looks like. Only it's for the field medic now. <laughs> yeah. This is for the field medic. Let's see what it does. For the, for the field medic. This is for the field medic. Mine reconstructor. Field medic. This is a fake DLC weapon. This weapon can be shared amongst players. Through our weapons sharing system, it fires biological mines that settle on the floor and explode on contact with Zed's 
to heart them and the flares to heal them. <laughs> so you hurt Zeds with them and you heal flares with flares to heal them. You heal flares with them. <laughs> flares can charge the weapon that holds it down the firing fire to increase the damage and healing potential of the projectiles. Up to 12 mines can be placed at a time, and all fire detonates all of them. Trader price is 1200 DOS. <laughs> Seriously, I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying when I'm talking like that. It's so ridiculous, don't I? <laughs> it gets close to the Trader file and gets your figure stuck in it. Uh, I love how the, the picture it says that in Endless Mode. You get to sit where the achievement they're taking out of this town. It is it. Uh. <laughs> says something like that. When you play endless mode with the trader talking or placing the trader, you get your figure stuck on the trader thought. Figure stuck in it. Uh. Stupid. Can't get enough of saying that. It's like, one new boss skin for the matriarchs. Halloween seasonal variant. I love that. The matriarch gets his own Halloween kit. Her own Halloween seasonal variant. Excuse me. Of course, the the patriarch gets like a he gets like a hat. I think he's like Frankenstein with a top hat. Eh, it's like Frankenstein with a top hat, or he's like Mister Jekyll Hyde or something. Yeah, the patriarch in this for Halloween event. I saw like a werewolf. Yeah, one of the Zeds look like a werewolf because of Halloween event. The Monster Bash. There's a previous Halloween event called the Monster Bash. Where, uh, what is it? The scientist guy is like a vampire. I forgot his name though. Bond, what's his name? Shoots like gas or chemicals at you. It's like, yeah, I just like, I forgot what his name was, but you know what I'm talking about. Great. If you play this game, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Josh Fold Edition. <laughs> yeah. AA 12 Volt Stars. AK 12 Volt Stars. Travel Volt Stars. M1911 Volt Stars. MVS. Wait. MV5 RS Volt Stars. New Steam Achievements. Steve Achievements, Hellmark Station and its collectibles, Time Limit Objectives, Trinkets, and Cosmetics. That's why I can't wait to unlock, really. Okay, I I'm done talking like that. <laughs> now, get in there and try and win these achievements. And get yourself killed. Again and again, I like precious Zets. Ha ha ha. As that's what the patriarchs would most would probably say about get in there and check out infernal insurrection before the event is over the halloween of that <laughs> just i'm just having too much fun talking like that i'm being silly i hope you guys can understand what i'm saying as i'm talking like that honestly but i'm just being silly so z economy <laughs> So that's all of it. That's it. That's it. I just read everything. Yeah, I always kind of do like a, a, a like a, a little voice. I change my voice like I'm doing a little question like, the 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 so, yeah, can't wait to go in game and check all the stuff. Here's general balances. Scrolling down here for so you guys can see it. You can turn to your health thrower. You can turn to your winter vines. Winter vines for the Christmas event. Yuletide horror. <laughs> Yuletide horror event with the nature arts first appearance in there. Winter vines. Perks. Field medic. Ooh, they got level 25 Zet time. Said act and the skill is totally reworked. Description of the new functionality. During Zen time, all the damage done by perk weapons is increased by 3%. Your kills 
steering Zintan, generate a toxic explosion that damages and poisons Zints. This gas also heals players. Cool. The explosion radius is 4 meters and it base damage is 150. The gas heals all players within the radius of 4. 15 health points. During Zint time, all the damage done by perk weapons is increased by 3%. Your kills during Zenta generate a toxic explosion that damages and poisons it. Isn't that... Hold on, I thought Field Medic already did something like that. Yeah, it's Zenta for the Field Medic. I guess they changed it like this in here. So, designer notes. This is all for designer. For the boss stop adjustments, we are not removing the ability to jump on a Zed's head. Wait. We are not removing the ability to jump on a Zed's head and knock it down. However, like many other systems, our cooldown will be in play so that Zeds can't be in infinitely knocked down and damaged by jumping on them once. I think they're doing that for Versus. Like, you play Versus mode where you can play as a Zed against Moon players, then that's probably why they're doing this right here that I just read. Our goal here is to keep the tactic a viable tool, but removes the explo exploitative, exploitative nature. Happy hunting works. Happy hunting works. <laughs> it says, we have eliminated the underslug. I let you guys read this for yourself. You know, you can pause the video if you want and read all this. Yeah, I'll look to you guys, really. I, I mean it. Like, I'm not going to finish reading this myself because, oh, well, it's a lot. But I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys decide whether or not you want to pause the video. Pause this video right now and you can read this. Read it for yourself. Hopefully you can see on screen. That's why, you know, I go to desktop and view this, you know. Yeah, just so you guys can see it. I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave it to you for you guys to read it yeah or you can go to this web page on steam not this is on steam you can view this on steam yourself too even so i'll let you guys read i'll leave it up to you but i'm just scrolling down pause the, the video we're gonna like to read this bug fixes Ooh, mentioned 2019 global state of the game our goal is to bring to the community and continued stream of stream of community report box fixes for each update throughout the year. Please continue to report any bugs you discover by uh, visiting our official forums, this posting in the PC or console section. Talk community issues, gameplay, perks, zeds, naps. I'll let you guys read it. And pause it. Like I said, pause the video if you want to read it just yourself. Muffins. I just want to skim through this, you know, I don't want to spend too long reading this. Weapons. Look at all these weapons here. Ooh, Vogue Cryo Arrows, Compound Vogue Cryo Arrows. Drifting within the sights within shifting weapons sights or head. Huh. Okay, cool. Fix an issue with the tele Tez Launcher in Versus Mode. Tez Launcher, that's cool. Yeah, Versus Mode, that's what I was talking about. We can play as a Zed against a human player. Yeah, approximately applied. Look at that. All that stuff. Like I said, you can pause the video if you want to read me this yourself. Or you can go look up this on Steam yourself or Kill War 2. Sure. Cosmetics. I'm just letting you guys read it, you know? I can read it, but there's so much here. Fix an issue when the Space Fire outfit was equipped to L LT Dill Master Sun, where the environment was liable through the neck. Ugh, that's cosmetic. Audio, user interface. Ooh, address multiple issues within the friend invite UI, UI while using a controller. This thing, look at that. Like a passing magazine skill. I don't count when using so this thing here, Terrapod, not accurately reflecting support weapon ammo counts when using the high capacity magazine skill. So this fix an issue with the ammo count in the Terrapod. Not accurately reflecting support weapon and low count when using the high capacity magazine skill. So, general 
Sixth an issue where the client log was stand within that preview while that preview line while waiting in the lobby of a ma of a match. As always, thank you for your continued support. You're welcome, Tripwire. Thanks for these updates. Yeah, down here it's like more more events from Clue War 2. Yeah, this is that Inferno Insurrection. Yeah. <laughs> Data. Yep, there it is. Ooh, huh? there's a trailer again. You can see the trailer down there. See it? Yeah, look at that trailer. <laughs> well, it's a short glimpse of it as I hover over this about this game. God, I love that trailer. I would probably watch it again. I'm probably gonna go back after I end this react after I end this video. I'm gonna rewatch my own reaction to see the trailer that way. <laughs> and then funny. Yeah, you guys are seeing it, but all right, okay. So that's it. Yeah, that's it for this this video of me checking out Killing Four Two's Halloween event. Go check it out. I'm not sure when it ends. Doesn't say here when it ends, but it it started on September. It started on Tuesday, September 29, 2020. Like you see down here. Yeah, yeah. Like you see over here. So, anyways, yeah. That's it. That's it for this. Me checking out Killing Floor 2's Halloween event in summary as an overview and also reacting to the trailer of it as an, you know, overview of me checking out everything there is. Now, after doing this, I'm going to go in depth. I'm going to go live. I'm going to go in depth in game. And check out everything we saw here in summary overview of this video here by reacting everything. I'm gonna go in depth when I go live and check out everything as I try and unlock all the seasonal achievements like I do every year in Killing Floor 2. I'm gonna do all that. You know, you guys, if you have Killing Floor 2 yourselves, you're more than welcome to join me when I play this live. I'm only gonna play this on, on Twitch. If I don't live stream this on YouTube, I might live stream this on Twitch. So if you want to keep up to when I may go live and, and know, be notified, then you may have to follow me on all my social media, like which you can find in the description down below of this video or every video for that matter. You know, follow my Twitch channel or yeah. If you want to know when I go live, you can check this. Well, I see me check this out. Ugh. When I go live, checking out in depth of everything of this event, you guys can play along with me if you'd like. Sure. So, yeah. All right. That's fun checking this thing out. Really fun. So, okay. Let me know. Let me know what you guys thought about this video or reaction video. Let me check out some of this whole event here in the comments down below. If you like it, you check out this. Watch it. Not like that. Like what? <laughs> Oh, 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 just, oh, slap it, oh, just slap that, oh, naughty like one, oh, it's such a naughty like one, oh, yeah, slap that like one, oh, it's so naughty, yeah, naughty, oh, so naughty, oh, okay. oh, 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 if you like the video, it's really up to you guys. Yeah, oh, but I do that. I don't. So it's all up to you if you like the video. Or if you'd like to see more from me, <laughs> or any of my other videos over seasonal events, in game events, or like playthroughs, walkthroughs, reaction videos, vlogs, and a lot of stuff like that on my channel. Mainly, I have the news where I check out in game events, like seasonal events, like we just saw here. I do a reaction video where I check out everything in the event. In like summary overview of everything that's new for the seasonal event in game event before I go in depth live in the game of checking out everything. Yeah, you, if you'd like to see me do all that kind of stuff, you can subscribe. Yeah, you can subscribe to my channel. It, it's really all up to you. You can like to see more from me and all that I just said. Or you can see more of what we you saw here. You can subscribe, really. All up to you. And again, if you'd like to see me do this. When I go live and check this out, <laughs> well, whenever you're seeing this, I've probably already done it, but, you know, you are whenever you're seeing this future. And then they can follow me on social media down below, too. So, you know, 
Twitch, whatever, Twitter, all up to you guys if you want to. All up to you. So, yeah. <laughs> yep. And with that said, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Ah, yeah.